Eid message from President Erdogan. In his video message on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said, We will continue our support until the bloodshed in Gaza stops and our Palestinian brothers and sisters achieve a free Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital on the basis of 1967 borders. Giving messages on the economy, President Erdogan said, We will be able to clearly see the positive effects of the economic program we are implementing as of the second half of the year. Congratulating the Islamic world on the Eid al-Fitr in his message, President Erdogan said, We have left another month of Ramadan behind and arrived at the Eid together. I hope that the Eid will lead to peace, tranquility and well-being for our country, our nation, the Islamic world and all humanity. I thank God for allowing us to have another holiday in health and enjoyment with our loved ones, he said. We will continue our support until the blood stops in Gaza. Drawing attention to Israel's attacks on Gaza, Erdogan continued as follows. We welcomed and spent the month of Ramadan, the Sultan of 11 months, with bitterness due to the suffering and cruelty experienced in Gaza as well as in different corners of our heartland. Gaza has been a place that has been bleeding not only in our hearts, but also in the conscience of all humanity since October 7th. It was a wound we were faced with a scene of brutality in which hospitals, schools, churches and mosques that should not have been touched during the war were deliberately bombed. As a result of Israel's attacks, 33,000 Palestinians were martyred and more than 75,000 of our brothers were injured. May God have mercy on all our brothers who lost their lives and those who were injured. We pray for a speedy recovery. As Turkey, we have shown that we stand by the Palestinian people in these difficult times with the aid material we have sent to the region, exceeding 45,000 tons in total. Hopefully, from now on, until the bloodshed in Gaza stops and our Palestinian brothers will continue to live in a free Palestine, with East Jerusalem as its capital, based on the 1967 borders. We will continue our support until it regains its state. We aim to reach 200,000 houses by the end of the year. Emphasizing that the delivery process of the houses built in the region after the earthquake centered in Karaman, Morocco continues, Erdogan said, while taking these steps in foreign policy, we never neglect the earthquake region, which is at the top of our agenda. We are rapidly healing the wounds of the disaster of the century by displaying the unity of the century. So far, nearly 80,000 disaster houses and villages have been destroyed. We completed the house and delivered it to the rightful owners. We aim to increase this number to 200,000 by the end of the year by building 15 to 20,000 houses every month. In this process, we are also working to make our cities with high risky building stocks more resistant to earthquakes, he said. Emphasizing the fight against terrorism in his message, Erdogan said, We do not allow terrorist organizations, from PKK to FETONDASH, to breathe against the unity of our country and the peace of our people. We are resolutely implementing our strategy of draining the swamp of terrorism at its source, said dot dot. We will clearly see the positive effects of the economy program we applied from the second half of the year, stating that the fight against the cost of living and inflation will continue on the economic front, Erdogan continued his speech as follows. With God's permission, we are determined to solve this issue, which hurts us as a nation along with the whole world. We will be able to see the positive effects of the economic program we have implemented more clearly from the second half of the year. We will use the four-year election-free period, which emerged with the successful completion of the March 31st elections, to achieve these goals. We will use it. With the awareness that Turkey is our common homeland and our democracy is our common value, we will work hard, produce, and labor together. There is no stopping, resting or breathing for us until we realize our vision of the Turkey century. I pray that God will be our helper and helper. On this occasion, we will use once again, I would like to thank all my citizens who went to the polls and stood up for their will in the March 31st elections. I would especially like to ask our beloved nation, which has just come out of an election with a very high level of competition, 
to turn the spiritual climate of the holiday into an opportunity to relieve resentments. I would like to ask all my citizens who go to the roads for a holiday visit or a holiday to comply with the traffic rules. I expect them to. I pray to God that Eid al fitr will bring peace to our hearts, well-being to our country, peace to our world and oppressed geographies. And I greet you once again with affection.